Hey guys, it's me, Basket Brain, and I am back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys my predictions for Fighters Pass 2 and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I know that this was announced in November, and it's pretty late for this, but it took me a while to think it over, and I thought now that we were getting closer to them being announced, it would make it more interesting. But enough of me talking, let's get right into it. So for Challenger Pack 6, I think we will get Geno. I know you'll say we already got a Square Enix weapon hero, but I don't think it really matters too much. Sakurai doesn't really seem to care about it. I think he really cares about game worlds rather than companies as he stated multiple times that in this game, worlds will collide. Moving off of that though, I do think he will get in as he is in a fan favorite and Sakurai has stated many times in the past how much he, is, he likes Geno. So I think that this time it will be different and he'll finally put him in the game. Moving on to Challenger Pack 7, this is more of a want, but I think we'll get Waluigi. Now I know you're going to say he's already an assist trophy and a spirit, and that is true, and this is one is probably the least likely to happen, but he is a character that fans have constantly stated they want in the game. Plus this is supposed to be the ultimate smash, and it's not the ultimate smash without Waluigi. For Challenger Pack 8, I think we'll finally get Crash Bandicoot. This is one I think is very likely to happen, as there was heavy speculation that he was getting in as Challenger Pack 5, but as we all know, he didn't. Even though he missed it last time, I think that now he has just as good of a shot. He would be the Sony Rapid Smash, which hasn't happened yet, and has good potential moveset. As for Challenger Pack 9, I think we'll get Steve. Again, like I stated with Gino, I don't think the company really matters in picking DLC characters. Before Banjo was announced, speculation on the Microsoft rep was either him or Steve, which a lot of people wanted. I believe that due to all the requests for him, Minecraft's massive popularity, and the fact that Sakurai plays Minecraft, that Steve isn't out of the question, and a good choice for Smash. Also to answer the question you were thinking, no I don't think he would look weird or play weird in Smash. Going to Challenger Pack 10, I think we'll see Rayman join the battle. I think he would be a good choice, and one Nintendo wouldn't be afraid to make. With Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle being a thing, it shows that Nintendo will be willing to get him in Smash as it did a crossover with the same series, just with different characters. Rayman has been requested loads in the past, so I do believe he has a chance in Smash Ultimate. Finally, with Challenger Pack 11, I think we'll get Lloyd Irving from the Tales of Symphonia. Now you are probably thinking, what? I wasn't expecting this. There's no way. But hear me out. I think he definitely has a chance as he has been highly requested to requested by the people of Japan. His series is also owned by Bandai Namco, who has helped develop this game and Smash 4. They got a rep in Smash 4 with Pac-Man, and yes, he is still an ultimate, but they are definitely entitled to have another one. Due to his requests, popularity, I bet that he would be the one that Bandai Namco chooses. And that's it, those are my Fighters Pass 2 predictions. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like on the video, and don't forget to subscribe, and turn on notifications to never miss a new upload. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.